Good morning, good evening, good night, world. This is Stiff Socks, and I'm your interview extraordinaire, Michael Too Fine, like a foot in my ass, Blaustein. That kind of rhymes. Anyways, we have an esteemed guest, a guest that everyone's always been freaking asking for. We got him. You're welcome. Why don't we just introduce him? Freaking Mr. Johnny Wallace. No, it's my dad, Johnny Sins. Well, jo- ah. It would be cool to have Johnny Sins, but it's my dad. This is much better hey, than Johnny Sins. Mr. Sins. Wallace. Oh, hey. I'm Johnny Sins. Oh, who cares? We're we here. have Mr. Wallace. Yeah, well, you got both the Wallaces. To the window, to who the Wallaces. Who cares? Thanks for having me. Yeah, hell yeah. Awesome. Thanks for coming. We're I, here. I, Thanks for coming. I couldn't help Thank it. you, you for have a coming choice? to yeah, make I him. I couldn't help it. True, true. Double true. He's got no, the Trevor Wallace merch I'm, on. I've been looking yeah. forward to this. Hell yeah. Yeah. Are you nervous? No. I'm nervous. You shouldn't be nervous. I'm, t- I'm very nervous because <laughs> Why? I feel like everybody in our family is very wholesome. Right. There's, you know, we we never really went down that road okay. of of the deep hitting topics. Yeah. <clears> and that's why you got me. I learned the birds and the bees at 19. Like I don't know what we're gonna be learning. Today. Speaking of, why don't we just get into the questionnaires? <laughs> oh, please. Is, is that even how you say it? Uh, just questions, I think. Questionnaires. Gabe, you're fired. I think that's Hallmark <laughs> Channel. Is it? Let's get into whatever you have. You have so, a graph composition book. Look at this. What in the Scholastic Book Fair is going on here? Where I don't know. It's the only thing I could find. That's good. You know. Michael Blaustein, stand-up comedy tour. Where am I going to be? I will let you know. October 16th, I will be in Denver, Colorado. October 20th, I will be in Honolulu, Hawaii. October 27th to the 29th, I will be in Portland, Oregon. Uh, November 2nd, I will be in Houston, Texas. There's about 10 tickets left for that. November 3rd, I will be in Dallas, Texas. There's less than 10 tickets for that as well. November 16th, I will be in Fort Lauderdale. A lot of tickets left there, so go get them. November 27th, the 29th, I will be uh, in Louisville, Kentucky. This is a new date, Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. For Louisville. Four shows, four shows. Go get tickets at BlauComedy.com. That is BlauComedy.com. Mr. Wallace, tell them where you're going to be. Trevor Wallace Comedy. I will be maybe in Fort Lauderdale this weekend. There's kind of some weather issues. <laughs> But if it's good, then I'll be there. You know, as of right now, my flight is still booked. Good. Okay. And that'll be this weekend, Fort Lauderdale, September 30th, Charleston, South Carolina. This Saturday, added a late show. Boom. October 1st, Charleston, South Carolina, Asheville, North Carolina. That's a Sunday. We added a late Sunday show. Who the hell am I? Bad Bunny? I hope. Yes. Phoenix, Arizona, October 8th. San Francisco, Friday and Saturday, October 14th and 15th. Saturday sold out. Boom. Houston, Texas, November 4th through the 6th. Grand Rapids, Michigan, November 11th. Indianapolis, November 12th. Cleveland, Ohio, November 13th. Salt Lake City, November 18th. Boulder, Colorado, December 8th. Fort Collins, December 9th, Oklahoma City on December 10th, Tulsa, Oklahoma, December 11th, New Haven, Connecticut, December 16th, Atlantic City, New Jersey, December 17th, wrapping it up in Red Bank, New Jersey, December 18th, Trevor Walls Comedy for tickets, I will see you there, or I won't, maybe I will, maybe I won't, they will. make the right call, I'm not even going to give an ultimatum, make the right call, TrevorWallsComedy.com. Buy the tickets, Gabe. Um, all right, first question, uh, of the evening. Did you give Trevor the old birds and the bees talk? And if so, how did it go? I did. I did. I thought it was my uh, duty as a father. Okay. And uh, I took it very seriously. Great. As my father did. Do you remember how old I was when you did it? Don't interrupt the question. 18? <laughs> I'm uh, No. I'm just joking. Uh, I don't know. Do you remember? No, I have you had no to be idea. like maybe early teens or 10, 12. I don't know. You got the birds and the bees at 10? I don't know when yeah. I was. I love it. Yeah. I, I learned don't know a, when I was. Yeah, you didn't even know what a trapezoid was, was yeah. and he was like, cock. <laughs> well, I even learned, better. I learned a lot from my dad. So my dad took me out into the woods for a walk. And, really? um yeah. The woods? The woods? Yeah, I That's know. not a good start. Shit. He's a, Damn it. He's in the Give Me the Birds or the Bees. Yeah. He's like, this is where it's done, son. <laughs> God. That he's like, that's like a it. pine cone and this is a cock. What that, a, well, <laughs> why so, the woods? Sounds like it could have gone the wrong way. But it, it, <laughs> and, it, and this it is Ohio, fun. too. So Whoa. Well, yeah. I remember. Like, it was yesterday. It was fall. We're out in the leaves, walking along. And he just stops. And we sat down. And he says, here's, here's how ma- babies are made. <clears throat> and he literally... Uh, told me that this was the first I knew. I didn't know. It was legit. No, he, I he, had an early 
this was yeah. me learning. Uh, so I had the spoiler alert. Out. Already knew. It freaked me out when I came home. I was um, like. Geez, isn't that where they pee too? You know, I was very confused. <laughs> Welcome to Stiff Socks. I mean, we're still trying we're, to figure this out. We still don't know. <laughs> so hold on. So you, do, was your dad specific at all, or was or he, did he, he was like pretty specific? Take yeah. two raccoons mix. See what they're doing? Yeah, no. He just yeah. told me what you do, and it, I remember, um, you know, he said it. I took it in. And then that was kind of it. We didn't quiet, talk a lot about it. Quiet walk on the way home. I don't yeah, quiet walk on oh, the way yeah, home. Oh yeah, everyone's hard. But anyway, I was like, okay, my dad did this. I can do this. So this was in Trevor's bedroom. Not the woods. No, not the woods. I, mean, I didn't we, get the scenic route. Yeah, yeah. why didn't it's you? fucking take ways. Well, What's going yeah, on? Yeah, like, you, ever get, you ever get a sex talk by a babbling brook? Yeah, I was in not, my own room. I was like, what do you think I was doing before you knocked? God damn. At least take me out of, at least put the calm app on so I feel like <laughs> knock, I'm sore. Knock, knock. Cock, cock. I'm already doing that. All right, so I'm in my room. What? Like, did you did you tell mom? Was there prep? Were you just like, I'm going to just go talk to him? Or you're just like, ah, whatever. You know, there might have been, uh, you know, from your mother, kind of a, you know, at some point here, you need to talk to your son about yeah. the birds and the bees. There was probably some of that. Yeah. And I don't know why on this particular day I decided it was time, but. Alcohol. Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. That, that could have been, especially once you hear how it went. <laughs> You and, love this story. Well, some of some of your audience may know this if they because you have done this. I used to live. have a joke about it. Yeah, but yeah. I, I should still do it. Well, I and the it. joke was just. Well, well, yeah. So we'll, we'll get there in a second. Okay. So you paint the picture. You walk upstairs. You knock on the door. You sit me down. We're yeah, there. I come in and I'm like, uh, you know, however I introduced it, Trevor. I want to tell you how babies are born. You know, yeah. birds mm -hmm. and the bees, sex talk, whatever, and. And uh, Trevor is sitting there, you know, wide-eyed, ready to go. And I'm Horned like, up. yeah. So your father has a limousine. That's so. So, so we, we we kind of just rushed into that. We we did. That was we a did. Big. There was no indentation on that yeah. paragraph. I'm that was still pissed. Direct. We're not in the woods. I, I'm, I'm upset. <laughs> You're telling me I did have stars on my ceiling. Still do. Yeah. Still oh, in there. Okay. That stars on the ceiling. Stars so, on the ceiling. So, yeah. Yep. Orion's yeah, belt. You know. Starry-eyed, but. Somehow I chose that uh, I had a limousine. So your father has a limousine. He's just doing my bit now. I and love you're, it. And you're, well, it's well, how it went down. But but so you're describing your penis as a limousine. Yeah. I don't know I, why. No. Well, hold on. That well, checked well, out. Well, still checked out. He's like, yeah. What's wrong? Well, well I, th 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 let me let me just interject with another question. We can keep going on this track. Who who do you think has a bigger penis? You or Trev? <laughs> Because well, yeah, all I'm going to say right now is you're describing your penis off top to your 11 year old son as a limousine. So I think you have a lot of esteem. What are we talking? Toward... Escalade limousine? Yeah. Jeep Wrangler well, limousine? Well, the last time I saw Trevor's penis, I Three had, weeks ago. was definitely bigger. <laughs> <laughs> that, was many, that was many years ago. Many, many, years many years ago, ago. is still too recent. Okay. You'd have to be like how a many, lifetime ago. How many years ago? It and doesn't when matter. It? It was, when we were in Hawaii bigger. last year. No, no, no. I'm I, sweating. It's been a while. I'm sweating too. Yeah, it's, it's been, been a while. Yeah, I would hope. It's, it's been a while. Let me ask you that. I'm, I'm gonna. We're gonna. I swear to God, I remember that because I, I want to continue with Get the limousine thing. Start. I just keep. I just. It just keeps. Uh, you know, uh, pushing questions out of my brain. Oh, good. So uh, you're saying I haven't seen Trev's penis in a while, right? And so, when was the last time? Do you not remember? Why I think it's I, been a long why, why time. Why did I agree to this interview? I think it's been a long time. I don't know, but it's fun it's for long. everyone else. It's yeah. been a while. Yeah, it's been and a long And then this brings me to my next Eighth question. Eighth grade birthday? It brings me to my next question. When, is it, when do we stop showering with our sons? Because I remember distinctly the last time that I showered with my dad. Because I remember looking up and being like, wow, my dad is packing. And lo and behold, not at all. Just really the angle, tiny. The angle. You the were The angle. I was up. like, wow. Like, it was like POV. I was like, yeah. wow, this is cool. You could tell time with that thing. Wow. Is that the sundial? I, I knew. Well, hopefully you weren't looking back over your shoulder or something, because that gives you a different perspective, too. Hold up. Who knows? Running bits. <laughs> Are we Catholic? What's going on? Dude, all I remember is I dropped the soap, and I don't really remember the rest. <laughs> Damn. Sex. That's, that's terrible. That's your father you're talking about. Nah, who cares? All right. So <laughs> Dads. No um, respect. They it really don't. Like, dude, Father's Day is hilarious. Father's Day, you get like a, a, a fucking Lunchable, and that's it. Yeah. Mothers get like islands and they dads do. get nothing. They do. Just a Phillips screwdriver. Take it. Yeah. And then you build work with it. Okay. So we're going to redirect back. To, limousine. So, limousine. Well, how, did yeah. any other car cross your mind? No. I don't know why. It's just. God, it's so funny. Your, your father's got a limousine and your mother has a garage. And so <laughs> your, your I, father I mean, parks just, the limousine in the garage. 
the, does the hood of a limousine even fit in a garage? It depends on how deep the garage is. Which brings me to my next tandem. question. You only, uh, you only got to get tandem the, parking. You only got to get the hood in there to you know make it work. That's so, what I'm saying. Dude, I think I think Mr. Wallace is packing. I mean, he said I only got to get the hood in. I only have a hood. Do we? Does anyone in this room have more than a hood? <laughs> Mini Cooper, type B. I mean, maybe. I got a bird scooter, most. That's wild. So, well, we're all Jewish. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Been, Turn up. You know, yeah, but you were, born, you were born Christian. Yes. So you so you were from a different cloth true. out in the woods. True, true. Yeah. Getting the wood in the woods. Anyway. Ohio, Ohio forest. Anyway, so your mother has a garage, and <sighs> yeah. I parked the limousine in the garage. How, many times? how long? Damn it. I don't know. I And I don't remember how I went from there. I know that that was Where was the, I conceived? I was trying to... Uh, Ohio? Uh, California? In the uh, forest? In uh, <laughs> Illinois. Nice. What? Where? Was it in the back of a limousine? Naperville. Okay, in, in Naperville. All right, and when you, when you uh, did the old uh, exclamation mark with the limo, were you like, that's a baby? Did you know? Do you know? Because I've was never had a kid. Was that planned? Uh, yeah, we were working on it. Oh, work. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Little class project. All, All right. right. Let's do it. Study yeah. sesh. I love it. And so I've never had a kid before. We've never had a kid. So my question to you is, do, do you know? Do you know when you're like, that's, that was, that was a baby? No. No? You're just kind of And just... if you do, you don't tell your partner because then it might stop. You know, you want to be able to keep going beyond that night. Right? So you don't. Oh, You that... don't say anything. Dude, Take that notes. is such a. Take, no, oh, that is such oh, a good point. Wow. So if you go, wow, that's a baby, and you don't tell it because you're like, oh, yeah, we still need a baby. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't and think that the, worked. And then the limousine keeps sure, getting parked. You know, I'm not even wow. sure. Wow. That is great. Yeah. What a great, fr yeah. all the youngins take notes. That's incredible. So do you remember me telling you about the limo? And I remember the whole thing. Yeah. But then what did I say after that? It's like. You just park it or you yeah, in and out or what? I yeah. was confused. I had questions. Sure. I was like, is it a dock? <laughs> is it a charge? Is this like you're in and then you hang out? Kind of like some BYU docking shit? Or do you like do you or do you back forth, back forth, park reverse, park reverse? Yeah. Well, I and the same when my dad told me. I was like, okay, you told me it goes in there. It's like did, did your dad tab use a, a in the slot B, but then what? Did you know? your dad do the car reference too? But it was no, back it in the buggy. day, so he was like, no, yeah, it, put a tractor was more in there. literal. You know, you take yeah, your just, penis and you put oh, it in. Oh, wow. There. We're going hard P. Yeah. Yeah. Do we even know it was called a penis back then? It was. <laughs> what do you. Well, we didn't. We no, I'm saying us. Like as or, as yeah. kids. Cock. <laughs> when was that invented? Cock? 1943? When, when are we talking? Cock. Yeah, cock is aggressive. Yeah, yeah it's you, hard. <laughs> I think my dad called it a Peter. A Peter? That's Peter. some Ohio shit. Peter. You got a Peter in between your legs. Yeah. You got what do you call it? Like got a, like a There was Peter a whole Pan. thing. You know, we have mosquitoes back there. So there was this saying, you got a skeeter on your Peter, whack it off. You got a skeeter on your you, Peter, You got a skeeter on your Peter. That is a S-T-D. That was early, that, that was early rapping right there. I, uh, first of all, Pops we're, got bars. We're, we're <laughs> skipping over the entire song. What, what, what was what, it? If you got a skeeter on your Peter. What's a skeeter? A mosquito. mosquito. Okay. Skeeter. If you got, if you're outside, oh, you got oh, a skeeter mosquito. on your Peter. Whack it off. Oh, whack it off. Okay. You're talking about. I thought you're literally. Talking, I thought the song was about jerking off. Well, could be. It could be. That's you one way to get the poison out. That's why. Hey! That's why it's great bars. You know, it's got little bars. double meaning. Double entendre. Wow. Exactly. So then, if your mom walked in on you, you're like, "Stop it, mom! I was trying to get mosquitoes off." Exactly. Mosquito Pete. Wow. That's why it's swollen. You know. It, Damn. Hold up. Let's go. Yes, so after, got... after the birds and bees talk, did you feel like you left the room and be like, ah, that went well. That'll never end up in a stand-up routine. You know, I felt like I had somewhat described the deed and what happens. Good enough. Scratch yeah. the surface. And I checked it off and went yeah. downstairs and told your mother and she's like, you what? Oh, she didn't know? <laughs> well, she didn't know that was the, the euphemism you were going for? No, it wasn't planned. I just... Oh, that was you also dope? Yeah, I didn't know what to say. You said, fuck it? You were eating a bowl of Honey Nut Cheerios one day? And you're was, like, oh, yeah. I got something. I was trying was to come up with game. a... I was trying to come up with a visual that was reference. freestyled? And, yeah. Yes. And you didn't yes and for shit. Yeah, you didn't want to go like uh, Lincoln Navigator? No. Just it, it didn't exist then. Limo was it. <laughs> Oh, no. wow. I, I love this. I love this so much. Um, so you left not informed, and you left being like, I bombed that, and then just a talk never happened again. I yeah, know. and then I think you just yeah, left for work for like so. four weeks. 
Yeah. And then I just <laughs> stared at the garage, be like, is yeah, this? Yeah, I, I traveled a lot then, so I probably just dropped that and flew like, out of town. Do that what you will. All right, yeah, good luck have, learning cursive next week. And goodbye. If you have more questions, mom's downstairs. Good Lord. <laughs> so did your mom assist at all in this? No. 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 We we didn't make eye contact until I was like 14. Yeah, I never I never <laughs> got a bird. <laughs> I never got a person to be stuck. Really? Never. I just found out because I, I had older friends and I would just watch the Spice Channel. I'm I like, think, oh, there it is. I think, yeah, eventually everybody does. But no one ever sat me down and like yeah. to told me anything. I, I, well, I, Michael, I have news for you. What's up? I have a limousine. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> the limousine? I don't know. Give me the talk. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Can you imagine if I bought a limousine? We'd have a long talk after that, huh? Just I, I would If you drive your own limousine, you have a problem. If you have a street parking and you need limousine, <laughs> not going well. How do you reverse one of those? Do they reverse? I think they Is it like a horse that can't walk backwards? They? Oh, yeah. No, they reverse. Like, can you parallel you gotta, park a limousine? That's insane. Yeah. I think you have to put your head out of the sunroof and go beep, beep, because I don't think they have the beep, beeps. Whoa. God damn. Dude, it's 100 degrees in the valley today. Why? God. Oh. You know what else God loves? Pussy. Extra content. I like that, too. Yeah, here's the thing. We're plugging what? Patreon right now, baby. Yeah! Every Friday. Every Friday is a brand new Sif Socks episode. Uh, no ads. One hour. Zero. Straight interrupted. Yep. We're about to do one right now. Like, and, Oh, well, you guys are sitting in the same seats you do the regular podcast in. Yeah, it's a regular podcast. Even better. Less ads. Talk about wilder shit. Hey, wink, Less wink. ads. Zero ads, okay? Our parents don't listen, okay? So we get a little wild. We get a little crazy. It's incredible. Um, and you guys get access to the Discord. You guys get access to the entire back catalog of over 150 episodes, guys. It is incredible for only $5 a month. $5. What is that? You can't even get a cup of coffee for $5, but you can get four extra episodes at free. a month. And if you are more of an Apple podcast kind of guy with Stiff Socks Plus, you just go to the podcast app where you listen to Stiff Socks. Yep. There'll be a little button there. You can try it for a week for free on Apple. Check it out. You can binge a fuck ton. There's over like 160 episodes. Um, I mean, there is. If, if you think you're bored with Stiff Socks, get in there. We got content and catalogs. Go do it. Patreon.com backslash Stiff Socks Pod. Or if you want Apple, you go to Stiff Socks Plus. You just cling clang a button and you're all signed with the face ID. Go get it. We love you. Support the pod. God damn. We all have friends who smoke. Yeah. Some closer than others. Yeah. Gabe, what were you saying earlier? My girlfriend's trying to quit smoking and vaping again right now. That She's, must be kind of nuts. She does it like every six months or so. I, I admire her tenacity keeping to try, but it's hard for me every time because she turns into an asshole, you know? Yeah. Uh, well, she, what she should be doing is using fume. That's what she should ultimately be doing. Because yeah. what does that do? Because I think a lot of what people love about vaping and all is muscle memory. They're, they're used to doing a thing. Yep. But this... This is, dude. It's, what makes it's, it unique, it's, dude? Well, it's a natural inhaler designed for a better, safer, more natural way to quit smoking cigarettes. Yep. It's not even smoke. It's not a vape. It's, it's just, it's a hand-to-mouth habit of smoking. So it's a wood inhaler, right? And it uses cores infused with plant oils studied to curb cravings. They have flavors like peppermint and, uh, you know, cozy chai, lemonberry bliss. And these are all, they're natural. There's no harmful chemicals, no artificial flavors. And absolutely, you guessed it, no nicotine. But it's just like, if you want the feeling and you want the taste from doing anything, it's just oils, baby. And I know a lot of people who smoke, and a lot of people have issues when they're on a plane because they get the cravings on the plane. But let me tell you something. You take the fume on the plane, you can fume on the plane. Fume on. Snakes on the plane, you take a fume on the plane. Oh, yeah. It's all good, dude. Dude. I mean, they're honestly, and, and uh, I saw this brand before, even mm. on TikTok, people were raving about it, all the comments were loving it, but it's, you know, it's a little wooden thing, you just like, sh sh put it in, you know? So whether you are a smoker, an ex-smoker who still struggles with cravings, Fume is the perfect tool for you, Or you're okay? just bored. Heck yeah. I want one right now. All right. We'll get you one. I will, and I'll get it at breathefume.com slash socks, and the promo code SOCKS will save you 10% off your entire order. That's 10% off your entire order when you had to... Breathe Fume, I'll spell it out, B-R-E-A-T-H-E-F-U-M. Breathe Fume. It's like another word that is spelled with U-M, but not. Use promo code SOCKS for 10% off your entire order. Breathefume.com slash SOCKS, promo code SOCKS, 10% off. Go get it, dude. God damn. What, what uh, position was Trevor conceived in? <laughs> well, because you don't know which night. Right. I can't be 100% certain. What's your best position? Best or favorite? Both. 
It's two questions. Or so most, most frequent. What oh do you God. What do you think you're the best at? Oh God. Can I Can I get some headphones on myself? <laughs> some Bose noise canceling headphones. Oh. We're just, we're this is just a tip. What's the next question? Oh, I love it. I right, pass. <laughs> you can pass. It's totally fine. <laughs> Fuck. Um, Missionary for sure. Okay, okay. So, uh, Trevor has said many times on this podcast when he was a kid, he would uh, print out pornography mm. and he would put it in his paintball magazine. And he <laughs> felt like that was like top security. That was incognito did, back in the day. 100%, 100% yeah, that was yeah. incognito, time to beat your amino. Did you, one, did you know about that prior to him saying on the podcast? And two, if you did know about it, uh, had it, had, did you or do you feel about it? I did know about it before I heard you about did? it. You did? Yeah. <laughs> well, you found it or somebody found it? I found it. You were looking through a paintball magazine and you're like, that ain't paintball. <laughs> <laughs> I found it. I borrowed it. I ah! put it back. No. Hold up. No, no, no. I found it. Um, what, you were just looking through the magazine? I almost said scrolling through the magazine. God, I'm pff, millennials. <laughs> idiots. No, it, you, had, you had it in your room. I picked it up, looking through it, and there it was. And I was like, okay, that's pretty, that's pretty clever, but it, not clever enough. Yeah. Was it like stuck in there? Oh, it, it had, didn't open. It, yeah, it had to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was. Like that's a post-it probably, note in there. That's yeah. probably how I found it. It's like, what, yeah, you're like, why is this goddamn pages? page open? It's a thick-ass um, book. Yeah, I, I, remember, do you I remember? remember. I do remember it was printed out though. It was you oh, know, I used printer to paper. Run through your guys' colored uh, print. I mean, I mean the, the ink cartridges were just straight to tits. Oh, that's great. I mean, I would <laughs> print it just full HD, all the colors done. That's funny. When you when you saw it, were you like, oh, we have similar tastes? Uh, funny. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I mean, no, are, I don't know what I did. I remember though. Do you remember me talking to you about it? I do. Yeah. Oh! Do you remember what I said? I think you said something like, you shouldn't do this because what if your sister like opens one of these magazines and like... No. Oh, <laughs> never mind. What was it? Didn't care about that. I he said, stop using my ink, it's expensive. No. Yeah, I was too bricked up to know I what was said, going on. No, it was about your mother. I said, if your mother found this, she would be very disappointed and you would be in big trouble. Disappointed? Why? Well, I don't know. She didn't want her, her innocent, cute little son stashed in wasn't porn cute. and yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah. what what okay. age was this? Do we remember? Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Well, that, grade, prime time. Yeah, well that's yeah, I mean, it was yeah. prime time. I mean, yeah, dude, back in the day, I mean I'm fucking an air fryer. I mean it is it is a, I mean, it is a still nightmare. to this day. Yeah. I mean thirteen. You ever have is mozzarella just a sticks mess. out of that bitch? God damn, oh, talk to me. Nice. Hold up. Crispy. <laughs> well see, back in my day, we couldn't just go look it up and print it. Had to go to the woods. Well, basically you had to find somebody's dad's stash of magazines. Yeah. I found your stash one time. Of magazines? Baseball. You had magazines? No. It was baseball Hold cards. Hold up. There was baseball cards, or they were like uh, poker cards. Po yeah. And there, oh. And there was, there was tits on them. Right, right, right. No, those were a uh, gift from a friend. Gag gift. Gag yeah. gift. Well, there was some gag hey, going on in those hey, photos. Hey, I'm all in. Gag gift. Yeah, I remember those cards. You found those? Yeah. Did you use them? I wondered why there were never 52 cards in that deck. <laughs> Well, guess what the other three were? Yeah. The magazine. Right. <laughs> oh, but we, you know, when I was a kid, you, somebody would find their dad's stash and then yeah. bring it over and share it, and we'd hide it in the shed or something. So you just, you just like steal a magazine and then, or a page or two? Steal them? No, Macy's catalog? Steal. Oh, from the dad's stash? Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if you're a dad and you see one or two of your magazines missing, I, I would be proud. I'm like, cool. At least it works. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. Go use it. Mm-hmm. Um, I used to, yeah, I used to, you know the little, I've said this to you before, you know the little, you know the Adam and Eve catalogs? Oh, I forgot stuff? about those. Yeah, that, I, I stole a bunch of those from my dad. So I'm like, I'm like pleasuring myself to like, not, not even like hot stuff, like just like toys and stuff. Yeah. Oh, wow. That I forgot out. about those. That yeah. was like the that original, out, yeah. yeah. That was like the original mail order devices, yeah. you know? Yeah. Oh, what a hot, I still have a bunch of them in an Airwalk uh, backpack at my house in D.C., so if well, you guys oh, want, I ship that bag here. I would, dude. I don't even know what's in that Airwalk backpack, but a lot of stuff. And for sure, someone's opened it up, well, and it's in the closet. Well, for us, you know, when it wasn't the dad's stash, it was the J.C. Penney catalog. Or the, yeah, Ooh, talk or, to me nice. Yeah, yeah. or That's the National Geographic at the library. Oh, hey now, I, I got, will say, I always knew where I could find a, a pair of boobs in the house, and there was a Nat Geo in the dining room. It was like somewhere in the forties of pages and. Both pages back to back, breasted up. Yeah, 
This so yeah, you knew about it too? I, what? I didn't know. That, what? You had one? No, no, no. You guys bought a book, and it was in. It was like a display piece. Oh. It was in. Uh, well, it was under that like glass table. So it didn't have the impact on me that it did, Young Trevor. Obviously. Oh, come yeah, on, Young. I have a henna tattoo over on my back. Hold up. Let me see. <laughs> but those Nat Geos. I mean, they were. You know. They were out in the tribe. They were, you know. Hot. Wild. Well, wild. Maybe that's why you like to have uh, do it in the, the outside. The outsides. Yeah. Nat Geo. Nat Geo. You like Nat it? these hoes. You like it outside? Sure, why not? I like to get adventurous. You know, bed is too scripted. No. Bed is scripted. Yeah, but- uh, Oh, uh, what do we love each other? Oh, walls, paper. Love? No, Weird. sequoia tree. Yeah, but it, 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 there's too much stuff happening. There's what, not a bear enough traps stuff and happening. Shit? Yeah, but it's fun. You're living on edge. You can hear birds. I don't like it. Well, it depends where you're at. I mean, there we go. Talk to me. What? Do you like do you like outside or inside guy? Uh, uh, uh yeah, it's all good. It's all good. That's yeah. a man who's had sex. Yeah. It's all yeah. good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, but I have to say, with uh, over time, there's yes. been less of the outside action. Oh yeah. 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 But you I mean, know. One, yeah. Once you got a, once you're Mosquitoes. financially stable, I mean, you just go inside. Oh, you, yeah. You spend a lot of money on that bed. Put this on a mortgage. TV screen of an outside sequoia view. Yeah. You there just, you go. Yeah, you just become more selective in uh, your your views and your uh, approaches, choices. Yeah. You make wiser choices. But yeah, 100%. outside outside's good. Outside, yeah. Insane. Who do you think's better at uh, SEX, you or Trevor? <laughs> I mean, pro it's, well, it's got to be you. I mean, experience speaks. There you go. Because yeah. I think you know where all the buttons are. I, I think Trevor is still trying to figure out where to even purchase the controller. I don't even know where my own penis is. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Did, yeah. I, did I leave it at home today? Hey! Ah, damn! Who well, knows? It's hard to lose a limousine, no. you know. Hold so. on! Oh, Big let's, flex! Let's go! Big flex! You know, it's not hard to lose a Fiat. I'm packing. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're going you. I, that's that's what I that's what just, I assume. Just from experience. That's what I know, assume. But you, but, but you think Trevor at some point is going to... When, when well, is the master going to become the he's teacher? Probably, whatever he's, you know he's what I'm probably saying. fine. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> yeah, ass on, ass off. We're I don't switching wanna, it up. I don't dude. want to think about it, but I would hope he's good. Trying. I, no, I, I, I think, I think uh, the growth from like five years to now. I think he's, uh, I think he's really doing it. Yeah, okay. it's. I feel like the same way at golf. I can hang with the big dogs, but I'm not. I'm not playing birdies golf. I might Got do it. a little bit of bogey golf. You're not annoying to play with. I can find the hole. You can. I've seen it. You get there eventually. Eventually, yeah. yeah. I'm I love I'm, it. I'm, I'm, enough, I'm, I'm enough the, Yeah, exactly. Enough, enough strokes stroke. from the rough outside. Hello. Strokes outside. Sequoia trees. We got four. it. Four. Because she's a four. four. <laughs> and so am I. Um, all right. Let's, uh, you know what? We're Listen, ladies and gents, listeners, watchers, we're going to get back to on-brand questions. But I would like to get a little wholesome here because I've witnessed this relationship for quite many years, and it's a beautiful, loving relationship between Mr. Wallace and Trevor. So I'd like to ask some wholesome questions. Um, yeah. When Trevor first said that he wanted to be a comedian, what were your thoughts? Mm. <clears throat> Uh-oh. No, Long pause. It, yeah. No, it was good. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> so there's a couple questions there. One is when did he first start talking about doing comedy? And okay. then there was the bigger question of, or the more important time of when he decided to do it full time right. and leave the day job. That was like my biggest, like, I was nervous to talk to your mom and be like, hey, I'm quitting my job to do this full time. Yeah. Yeah, so let's back up to the first Please time though, when he just wanted to do comedy, um, I guess he had already started because you did the comedy class, the comedy workshop, mm -hmm. and we knew you were uh, dabbling in it at, at college and you had a comedy club you helped start, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. in, uh, at San Jose State. Uh, and we had seen him do a couple short sets. Yeah. And so we encouraged it. You know, we, we thought it. Well, mom was the reason I started because she cut out the piece of the paper that was like classes at the Ventura Harbor Comedy Club. And I was 17 when she did that. That's great. It was wild. Do you remember one time I came home from college and this is when I was like, I was like 19 and I would write like five minutes of jokes to do the next night. Like not like. Oh my God. And. I remember I was supposed to do a guest set, just five minutes, at when, like winter break or something. And then you and mom were like, oh, let's hear it. And then you guys sat down at the no. dinner table. Oh, yeah. I have never bombed no. so hard in my life. <laughs> I, I don't know. Do you remember this? We we did it a couple times. 
but but I don't want to do it. Be like, no, come on, just do it. You need an audience. And your guys' faces no. after to be like, yeah, you know, there's something there. Talk no. about the limousine. Well, it's like when you go see the the little girl at school play and she's got the solo and she starts singing and you're like, you know. Yeah, but, why, why, why would you actually, make me do that? Why, <laughs> so you're saying I bombed. He was, I I just recall you being funny. And to, to do a five-minute set and then come up and do it for us, you were nervous and it was fresh. It was also in the dining room. Yeah, Not dining a room. great location That's for That's where comedy. you bomb. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you're doing it in front of plates. You're, you're going to bump. <laughs> I would wish there was, but it was, I remember, it was like kind of, it was bright. You guys were sitting on the corner. I was just standing like right in front of you with a TV remote. I do remote. remember. It was very close. You're right there. You're doing it with a TV remote? Yeah. Oh, no. I wish I was doing it with a gun. I bombed. <laughs> I remember just being, I remember like saying it and then being like, then you guys were like, like it was very much like, oh, yeah, all right, yeah. Oh, you like, I don't even... think anything was like, oh, I did a, I did a roast for my dad for your, what was that birthday? 60th? 50th? Uh, 60th 60th they, i like came home from college dude i honestly i felt like i was a a, a touring comedian i came home flew yeah, you had been doing comedy by that a point. little bit yeah I've been, I've been doing i had done some shows under my belt but i came home for my dad's 60th birthday you didn't know i was going to be there and then i showed up with like a two minute roast no the whole party like like i walked in surprised my dad I was like what and i was like time to roast everybody like gathered around i was uh, near a table again You're in the corner i was in the corner of the room and then i did like two minutes of roast and uh god i wish i remember what i wrote down it's, did did a crush? It was funny. Parts, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it, was, it, was, it was it was good, but it was like a minute and a half, and then everyone was like, "All right, back to roast." Oh, so you know? it wasn't even a roast. It was, but, but but what I'm saying, you you were just like, "I'm gonna roast," and you started. It wasn't like the let's organize and everyone uh, does it. Well, it was like no, it was organized, but it was just like a minute and a half. Like I didn't. Okay. Like I just flew through. So did you offer it up? Did you say, "Hey, I'm gonna roast my dad now"? Or I don't remember how it worked, but I think we coordinated in the back end to do it. Where I think it was like your friends or mom was like, you should do this and then show up, surprise dad. And then at some point in the party, we'll congregate everyone. Then you can do some jokes. It was great. I remember it. No, I remember the two. It was a great surprise. You and uh, Trevor's sister uh, showed up unannounced halfway yeah. through the party. And uh, I had no idea. they were. But coming. I literally felt like I was like hot shit. I was because like you don't fly that much alone when you're like yeah. 19. So I was leaving San Jose State to go fly to go roast my fucking dad. Yo, we're talking San Jose Airport to Burbank Airport. We're talking hey. big flights on the PJ. But I like. And you had an audience. I had an audience. 20, and you had an audience. Yeah. That's Jim Gaffigan type shit, dude. Let's go. You're huge. I'm selling at Madison Square Garden. I love it. Two yes. minutes of roast jokes, and they were all, it, it, they did well? Yeah, I wish I, rem you know what's funny, it's probably, I have my college laptop somewhere, and. Oh, the amount of Oh, you had that, it all huh? written out? Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah. I mean, if, even if it still opens from stalactites, it, it, <laughs> it's probably written in there somewhere, but I'm curious to know what it was. Well, so the second time I'm referencing is when Trevor yep. wanted to quit his day job. And we had, we were very, um, proud of the progress Trevor was making at that point. He was yeah. working at the Old F Digital during the day. Turn up. And going out every night doing as many nights as he could doing, uh, you know, uh, what do you call open it? Mics? Yeah, open mics? Yeah, open mics. Doing open mics, getting That's a couple gigs. This man. Yeah. Doing a couple gigs here and there. He went on the road with the uh, ADD team and stuff. But he kept kind of priming us for it. He's like, someday, you know, I want to. Okay. I, I would make wanna... hints. And my mom was never like, like, I remember one time I was like, yeah, but you know, this and that. She's like, right, right, right. But like, you know, they pay your insurance there. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, right, right. But I don't care. What well, about I, a dream? And I thought Trevor was in the perfect job. He was around comedians. He was around comics. It was a great, best job funny. I could have asked for. Yeah, he was, he was working. He was making money. He was being encouraged. They would even give him time off to go do shows yeah, and stuff. Yeah, and great. I'm like, you're in a great situation but you know when you're ready you'll know and so the day he finally told us that he uh wanted to quit he may have already given his notice i don't know but he was yeah he yeah. had it all and he sat us down and i could hear it coming and and he you went on quite quite a little while explaining to us that uh, okay. you know, i think i'm ready and i got yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. and we're both we were ready we're like you know, did you think I was sitting, oh, you, you knew it was coming? Did you think and, I was sitting you down for any other news or just that? No, just that. Okay. And we Good. were totally ready to say, go for it. We we have faith. We we think you'll do fine. But you yeah, just it was, you it was kept selling, man. You were selling, selling, selling. I, selling. I planned. You, I thought you, they were going to be like, oh, stay. You need to do this. I, I came in with just pages on like stats, numbers. 
analytics. Really? Well, because I thought that they were going to be like, well, no, you should keep doing, keep doing the job and keep doing, you know. Yeah. But dude, I mean, like it, it's, you're so lucky to have parents that one support you, but also just like in that moment, I think most parents would have been like, yeah, you know, like maybe we'll see more some, some progress, some, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some hesitation, but it was, no, I remember it was, we, we knew this moment was coming. That's like one of my favorite days. Yeah, we favorite, knew this was coming and we think you're ready and uh, encourage you to do it. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. I've I've seen you because obviously I do a lot of Trevor shows and I've seen you at so many. I mean, you're so many. I mean, I, you're wearing, wearing the merch. Merch and Dude, they so, pulled up last week in an Ox. Sorry, number yeah, no, one no. fan pulled up in Oxnard. Both you and mom wearing the merch. Yeah. Yeah. I teared up seeing it. It's crazy. Yeah, we're I'm number one fan. Your mother would say she is, but. I think I'm a little more. Oh yeah, I mean, look who's on the set. I know. I'm Let's kidding. No, go. no, my mom supports everything I do. The podcast is one where she's like, I don't know if I need to listen. <laughs> Some of the <laughs> stuff you and Michael talk about, it's a little vulgar. I love watching your mom <laughs> laugh at you. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean that, that's that's got to be a wild moment to, like, to to raise something like from like an egg to now and then watch it walk around and have people spend a lot of money and like thousands of people come out to see your son and he's making, he's crushing, making everyone laugh and to be in the back and be like, wow, that's, that's my son. It's like, what, surreal. What is, yeah, what does that it's feel surreal. like? It's surreal. Uh, it's totally surreal. I mean, like when we were at the uh, the Vic Theater. No, oh, Chicago. Yeah. Chicago. That was awesome. You know, two two tiers of balcony. Talk yeah. to him. Downstairs, settled out know. two nights. Two nights. Saw the lines around three. the block, <laughs> people coming in, merch in the, merch in the lobby, um, you know, fans going crazy. And yet every time I see a performance, there's part of me that just, it's like I... I'm not your dad and you I'm just watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just a fan. I'm just in the audience. Oh, yeah. And I have to like, oh hey, that's Trevor. I'll lean over. That's our son. <laughs> yeah. you know? Well, well, my sister said that the first time she saw me in New York at the Gramercy, this was like pre-pandemic. This was like the first one of the first theaters I ever did. When they announced, like, all right, make some noise for Trevor Walls. She was like looking around at her friends, like, these people are like cheering for my brother. Yeah. She was hammered, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <clears throat> well, your sister, um, to me is another gauge of how funny you are because she's very funny but in a different way than trevor she's very quick-witted she uh you know, a lot of zingers yeah, a lot of family zingers. vacations a lot of shots of the parents oh she, she was a feisty lad on but i've vacation. seen her at a couple of trevor shows and she's cracking up i mean yeah. tears cracking up uh which is fun to see wow too. yeah that's incredible so when did you when trevor was younger was there a moment where you're like oh this kid do you remember the moment where you're like oh this kid's funny uh I, well i do uh he was he was always funny but quiet trevor's quiet around the house i mean yeah it sounds like my fucking serial killer what are you talking about uh, yeah he was always a little quiet around the house yeah yeah he didn't have a lot to say no he was uh <laughs> he was um he, he was generally quiet you know he wasn't like an extrovert. He wasn't boisterous yeah. and everything. He was too busy no, in those paintball magazines. Yeah, hell yeah. Well, yeah, he was, he was busy. Pam Anderson yeah. back in the day. He was busy Tits. making stiff socks. But, um, I was making them. You did it. Oh, I'm yeah. the entrepreneur. Trademark. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he was uh, he, he was quiet, but he was funny. And he would, uh, you know, he would act out a little bit. And when I say he was quiet, the one thing he wasn't quiet about, he was constantly, and he still is, constantly singing like in the shower or just walk around and the songs he would sing it would be crazy It'd be like 50s doo-wop well, because they're all to, from like i would hear him playing the grand theft auto radio stations right oh, they'd always be playing oh my ex is live my brain's like how the fuck do you know that the well, grand he, theft auto radio i didn't stations. know how you knew it but he'd sing country he'd sing you know classic rock r&b rap whatever yeah but he was just he, he was quiet, like in conversation or in groups. But when he was alone, he was never quiet. You know, just always do singing, that. talking, that doing way, something. Like. Yeah, you are. You are talking to yourself is a sign of intelligence. Is it? That's what I read on like a fact.com on Twitter. So it's got to be right. I believe it. I think it is. Every time I, I talk to myself a lot. Oh yeah, all the time. But the second there's one other person in my presence, I'm like, Ugh. I like to shut down. I can't like be myself unless I'm by myself. Wow. Or when you're on stage. Correct. Or if you're on the podcast. 
Correct. So, well, people you like trust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that makes but sense. like if I'm like kind of like, <clears throat> you know, getting to know somebody, I'm very like, hello, hi, cordial, good evening, 401k. The second you're like my boy, I'm like, so about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I never saw well, Trevor as being funny, funny, comedian type funny, but I well, certainly remember. I mean, that was really the comedian. Fuck? That, that was comedian. Later. I love it. That came later. Bring up the check mark. That came up later. But I definitely remember the first moment where I saw Trevor perform yeah. in front of people. And uh, you'll, you may remember this. We took a family vacation with another close family friends of ours and their kids. And their son and Trevor are to this day good buddies. But mm -hmm. they, they did a bunch of stuff together. And Sucks. we were very close to the parents. So the two families went to Hawaii for vacation. Mm -hmm. Went to the big island. And the uh, first part of the vacation, we stayed in the little town of Volcano on the wet side of the island. The town island. is called Volcano? Yeah, it's called Volcano. It's on the big island, and oh, it's in the this. rainforest. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, we had a, we rented a house. The the other family rented a house. We got together the first night there. We go down into the little town, and there is a very small town, but there was a market that had a little restaurant in it, and we were eating dinner in this back room, and we we're the only ones there, and there was a stage, so they probably did local entertainment on yeah. the weekends or whatever, but there was a little stage over there. And we're just carrying on, having Mai Tais, you know, waiting on dinner or whatever. All of a sudden, Trevor's up on the stage. Do you remember this? No. And I was he off just the Mai Tais, too. He, starts, <laughs> he just starts riffing and, and performing. Crowd work? What? Carrying on, yeah. Crowd work? Yeah. I wasn't even posting it on TikTok. No. Crowd work? Crowd work? What and, do you do for a living? And just to a tree frog? We didn't video it. I mean, I don't even know if we were, you know, into that stuff then. But You, you could video it? No, I don't, oh. I don't have anything except the memories. And I can picture it. I can see the stage. I can see little Trevor up there. You were like 12 or 13. Was I crushing? How was I doing? Bombing? You were funny. And, really? And all the all other right. kids are cracking up, and, and the parents are like, what? Is so he, he did doing? better then than he did in the living room that one time. Oh, I think God. so. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was a stage for this one. Living room, flat ground. I, I was eye level with my audience. Terrible. Eye level. Bombing and in front of sitting. <laughs> Terrible. God damn. So you've probably heard about microdosing. Haven't I haven't, you? dude. What the heck well, is microdosing? If not, just right. know that all sorts of people are microdosing daily to feel healthier and perform better. Okay. Uh, let me take you on a little journey, okay? Our show today is sponsored by Microdose Gummies. Microdose Gummies deliver perfect entry-level doses of THC that help you feel just the right amount of good, okay? I don't know about you, Mr. Wallace, but when your boy takes THC, I get way too... High like a mother Too freaking high. eagle's cock, okay? Like a what? Like an eagle's cock. Oh, so it's a clock, which nope. would also work. That's also fly. high. Yeah. Grandfather clock's too big. But Not I big will enough. say, I will say. Put it on the wrist. I, <laughs> I get too freaking high. So these microscopes. Zoot, make zoot zoot. Oh, zooted. Yeah. Zooted to the booted. Zooted, tooted, and convoluted. Good uh, word. Spell it. R. Microdose gummies. <laughs> So, I will say, when I do these, uh, I feel energized, I feel focused, um, and if I'm, you know, it gives me the right type of chill, all right, and I sleep like a baby all around, they're a 10 out of 10 for Michael B, okay? And delicious flavors. They are, dude. What type of flavors are they coming? Watermelon. Watermelon. It's my favorite. Uh, but yeah, dude, they're also available nationwide, so you don't have to be like, well, my state does blank, blank, blank. Nope. To learn more about microdosing THC, go to microdose.com, best website in the game. Yep. Microdose.com, and use code SOCKS. To get free shipping and what thirty percent off your first order? How much, dude? Promo code socks, free shipping, and thirty percent off your first order. It's a lot of money off. Okay? It is. Links can be found in show description. But again, that is microdose.com and promo code socks, free shipping, thirty percent off. Go, go, go! Smiley face. God damn. Our third sponsor of the day is none other than the illustrious Shopify. Gabe hit him. Everybody loves the sound of money. Shopify, uh, I mean, dude, I, I'm honestly shocked they're even ad doing ads with us, but they're such a, <laughs> no, they're such a good company and they're so yeah. established. Everybody I know who does merch uses them. We use them. I personally use them. They have one of the easiest interfaces to use. I have so much data collected. They like, they store all the emails of the people who bought stuff and it's really easy to organize. Like, I, it's just a great website if you were selling anything. Yeah, if you're a small business, dude, it's incredible. They have like, Really, really elaborate uh, reports. Um, all the analytics you need to, uh, you know, to push sales for. It's really incredible. We've used it a million times. So yeah, I mean, like, I mean, it's just a great website. Whatever you sell, you know, you're selling like vintage T-shirts or anything like that. It's really just a good place to collect 
uh, a storefront have information and really everything, right? And they, they're also really savvy, so you can help use like different like forms uh, across social media platforms like TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Like it's all kind of a, all in one e-commerce platform type of feel. Like it's very, they're very hip to what's going on right now. And they have 24-hour support, which we've used a bunch. Okay, free libraries full of educational content, which I've used. When you're ready to launch your thing into the spotlight, do it with Shopify, the commerce platform backing millions of businesses down the street and around the globe. Go on, try Shopify for free and start selling anywhere, dude. Anywhere. Sign up for a free trial at shopify.com slash socks. All lowercase. Yep. Go to shopify.com slash socks to start selling online today one last time shopify.com slash socks free trial go do it god damn well i know you were 12 or 13 because you were also practicing your torah portion for, oh. the, for your bar mitzvah on that trip i didn't think it was going there but yeah yeah, yeah. i thought i was practicing something else yeah with my forearms yeah 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 well you probably were what? but he Still would what? be in the shower in the hotel and we could hear him you know, working on his store portion in the shower. Like I said, never quiet when he was yeah, yeah. alone. Because the tour portion was there. That was all just memorization, yeah? Yeah. Can you throw in anything? It. I think you could. A couple could, ad-libs, a couple yeah. of bubbles, You know, I think get you Amigos could. ad-lib in there. Yeah, I mean, they did. Is it, uh, but you said you did pretty well. I bombed mine. You bombed? Did he, did he yeah, bomb? But, but everyone else who's there doesn't really know what's going on. Oh, you know, I, but, think you're, I think you're good. But... We're also 13, so everyone's like, whatever yeah. the hell, you know? Yeah. If, you, if you mess up, it's cute, right? If you're, you know, 27 reading, you fuck up, they're like, ugh, I paid for a flight for this shit. You did, you but did if, a but great. But if you're 13 and bombing, you're like, ah, oh, look at this kid. You did isn't. great. We were very proud. But, oh, God, I want to find out. There's a photo of me in that outfit. I, please oh, bring yeah. it. God, I literally we look, I look well, like I'll somebody cut out in. a cardboard you can, box. Uh, you can uh, put them on the, on the pod. Oh, yeah? We got pictures. Oh, please. This yeah, man has pictures for days. Oh, what about at your uh, party, the after party? What, what? You remember the song you came into? No. Yes. What Wait, was it? What was it? Um, All my exes live in Texas. No, was it like Green Day or something? Mm, Mom or would Blink know. It was. It was. It was a. Nirvana. They had a build up. I wish it was Kid Rock, but it wasn't. It, I mean, it might have been Nirvana. Might have been. Oh, really? It was. Was it, what smells like Teen Spirit? Yes, it was. It was. Nirvana. What was his, what was his theme for his bar mitzvah? Uh, Do you remember? Did we have a theme. I don't his know. Tits. No. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> what? Was do we do super sumo wrestling for mine or was that for uh, sumo wrestling was always kind of sexual. Anyone else? Uh, it's uh, like you're wearing those big suits and you're you're going back and forth and you land on the person. You're like that was kind of got me a little bit. Am I the only one? Next question. Uh, so yeah, uh, here, here my interview time. Uh, who are you wrestling? Family members? Yeah. All oh, right, yeah, that checks. Out. That doesn't it check out. Cousin's does hot. Not. I tongue her down. Who cares? So, <laughs> Mr. It's Wallace. It's a bar mitzvah. They're thirteen, Michael. I was 13 too. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> what were you thinking? I didn't go last week. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> just okay. showing up. Okay. Just... <laughs> okay. Hey, you're doing good. Were you already asking girls to take their socks off and stuff? Yes. Okay. Oh, favorite Excellent. time. Excellent. Oh, yeah. yeah. Brings you... me to my next question. Yeah. Sir. You know where this is. Yeah, I know where. So, uh, uh, LA show. LA yeah. show. Novo. Mr. Trevor, you went, obviously. Yes. We were backstage. Awesome. And you, you show killed, was so you fun. You killed that night. Thank you so way. much, man. Appreciate yeah, it. Well, so it fun. First, first time I saw your set. Oh, was it really? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. no, no. I take that back. The night before, my buddy and I went down to San Diego and yes. saw you. Mm. So you were there. Yes. Um, so I have a, some jokes I would say about uh, feet. And some. Some, about six minutes. Yep. So you and I were talking backstage and you lean over and you go, hey, Looked at your girlfriend's feet because my girlfriend was there. You go looked at my, looked at your girlfriend's feet. Look pretty good. Congratulations. Yeah. So a lot of questions here. Um, you looked at my girlfriend's feet. I'm on board with that. I'll cut that. That's fine. My next question. You said you liked them. Were you just kind of reaffirming my jokes, or are you in defeat? I snuck a video. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Put it on Feet Finder right now. Sell that. $17. <laughs> snuck a video. You snuck a video? No. Oh, you just oh, no. You were trying to take a selfie. How does this goddamn phone? No, oh, I was, hold on, I was hold on, checking hold on. to see oh, if if this is your thing. 
Yeah. You know, was she right. delivering? Did you how was did she you delivering? choose? Did you Hilarious. choose? Did you choose? Were you getting what you wanted out of life? Is what I was checking. And I really appreciate that. Yeah. But it brings me to my final question. Yes. You knew what to look for because you were like, oh, those look good. If you weren't in the feet, you wouldn't know what to look for. But you looked at those, you go, those look good, meaning they look good to you. So my question is, if if you have a little bit of a foot fetish, we're open here. Do you like feet? I like good feet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you do. You do anything with them? No. All right. I so- stopped there. I enjoy them. You enjoy them. You go, hey, those look good. Yeah. I like to put them in my mouth, but I won't because I'm a respectful gentleman. Uh, I got a limousine. I love it. So you just, so you like, you like the way they look. Good feet. Yeah. I love it. Sure. Sure. God, that makes me. Good thing I didn't get that trait from you. Some, some guys are, you know, breast guys, right? Some guys are, you are? No, ass. No, his is ass. Ass, you got that from your dad. That's where I'm going. Number one, ass guy. Number you are? Yes. Let's fucking go. All right. So what type of ass are we talking about? Big like brontosaurus looking thing? Hell no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Don't like it. This current this current trend of working out for BBOs? the big I don't like it either. No. I, we're we're, yes, we're linked on this. No. Trevor likes ass that look like it, it should More climb Mary, the Empire 10 State Ten on it. Yeah. Do it yeah. all. French Montana. Yeah. No. Yeah, I'm not into it. No, I want to be able to see around it, you know. Thank but, you. But um, number one, ass. Number two, legs. Yeah. And uh, and uh, close, number three, feet. So you're just <laughs> a bottom half shoddy. Just a straight waist down. Waist down. I yeah. love this. Three is feet? You went feet over face? You went feet over feet stomach? Over tits. You went feet over tits. Here's <laughs> feet the thing. Feet over wrist. I'm feet, I'm feet over tits. Who cares about tits? Oh, I mean, feet, you're feet over it life. It feeds my baby. Who cares? I, yeah, I don't. No, they don't, wow. do they don't do anything for me. I'll kiss you right now. What yeah. a what a great moment we just had. Any size? Are you my dad? No. All right, just well, checking. That's a question. Yeah, we should really dive yeah. into. Um, so, where is your father? Who knows? So <laughs> no, he's in Boca. Dad, I love you. Um, but what? So we're seeping around here, but we're on the we're on the topic. So let's do it. Um, did you know when Trevor lost his virginity? No, or, no, you just. I was an acting guessed. different that day. Never, I never didn't walk in, floating around, high fiving the cats. Yo, what's good, fam? <laughs> never caught oh, him. Oh, you're in a pussy. I got a pussy. Hey. Hey. Never caught him in the act. Never. Uh, yeah, I, saw I, him think, act I think I did the cordis at at the 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 house twice. I was too scared. Those walls are thin. I was you you did at our house? Yes. Twice ever. Yes. Were we home? No. Okay. Did you when you came home? Were you like it smells different? Nah. No, I was nervous. Uh, the yeah, and also there's stars on the ceiling. I can't be like, ugh, you know, smoking a fucking vape pen. And be like, hey, you that's see that? That's the big dipper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, there's an even bigger dipper down Let's there. Let's go. Um, <clears throat> okay, so when you came back, you didn't know Trevor was all like no, relaxed. I, obviously not. I, I thought he was still working on it. I don't know. To this day, <laughs> could be. No. So, so um, you just I assume. had no idea. I don't know when. That was that high school or what? Yeah, seventeen. 17? 17. But that same, wasn't that was same girl twice? Well, uh, oh, hey. no, no. Let's start over. Girl? Yeah. Uh no. <laughs> Fleshlight. Uh one was after like homecoming at her place. Oh, homecoming. Got it. Coming Next. home. Hey, hold up. A natural. <laughs> My Get man on got podcast. jokes. Homecoming. homecoming. Uh and the Next. other and the other time I think was uh high school girlfriend. High no, school. I don't even the girl I dated like senior year. Wow, nice. Yeah, okay. learning things on the podcast. I love this. Okay. When did yeah. you lose your virginity, Mr. Wallace? Um, was it in the woods? It had to I be. I was slow. I was slow. Oh, like yeah. mentally or? Uh, no. <laughs> Shut up, Ohio. Uh, sexually, you know, uh, just took my time. I, I was a really good boy. I mean, I. So you lost it at 12. Just no, okay. no. I, I, it would have been. Late high school, early college. Well, that's a round. That's a roundabout. Nineteen, twenty. Yeah. yeah, that's a roundabout. I, don't know. I hear happens. stories of people that what you then? Yeah. Well, I think you're probably scarred for a while after going into the woods and learning about a penis. <laughs> you're like, I want to stay yeah. away from that. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't even I, want to look at my own. How are you going to give your kid the sex? I think I'm going to be graphic. You are. Yeah. I'm gonna, Why? I'm going to draw the thing and be like, because because I don't want my kid leaving there being like a limousine. Or well, honestly, or on, I'm gonna I, actually I'm gonna take that back. It's probably 
it's 100% better to do to do that. Well, you, well, you know how I do it now? I would yeah. say, yeah, 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 yes. What, you tell me, what do you think sex is? <laughs> See what's on their mind. This is great. See okay, what they so Kids are too sheltered. They want to say it might be okay. You got it. You know more than I did or do. Could we but, uh, let let let's let's do a little scene? So okay. let's let's pretend Trevor's I'm thirteen. A child. Trevor's thirteen. You're giving the sex talk oh. now with all your experience. Okay. okay all right. Okay. So Trevor, I think it's time we have a talk about sex. Goo goo ga ga. Um, <laughs> What do you know about sex? What do you think? Tell me what sex is. Man, it's euphoric. You ever heard of Harley Davidson at five in the morning? Uh, oh, thir real life? 13, 13 yeah. I'd be like, uh, Dad, what are, you, what are you talking about? What, why, why are you doing this? I just want to play Fortnite. Well, I want you at some point to understand what sex is and to uh, uh, understand a few things about it. So okay. I'm curious what you know now. Yeah. Dude, I don't know anything. You have like 30 seconds to tell me. This is getting weird. When's lasagna ready? <laughs> okay, I guess you don't have a very open mind, do you? Is it, uh, fine, what is it? Let me hear it. I don't know. This is probably how it would have gone, you know. Uh, dude, this is, but, I'm but, telling but, you, but, both but, you guys are doing a pristine job. This is exactly how it went. But what would you say now? Would you still go car euphemism? Would you go... You know, what, what are we talking? Like, well, you know me. I probably would have said, Trevor, I'm serious. I want to know what you know now to see if you've been misled or mm -hmm. misdirected. And, uh, you know, if you know, then we don't need to let's, talk let, a lot. Let's say I'm in denial. And, and what like, what's a modern day example? You'd be like, yeah, I got a number 13 from Jersey Mike's and your mother's got a fucking, you know, what, like, what are we talking here? So if I had to redo it is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you, you said earlier, you're like, I know what I would say now if I were to say it. Well, I would have asked. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, but if, what I if I had I'm... to just explain it, I'd probably be more uh, more clinical. Okay. You know, I'd, yeah. I'd, enough of the analogies because I obviously didn't. Well, I think, I think, you'd, <laughs> go, I think you'd still do it, but then you'd follow up big. I have a limousine. Long pause. Cock. And then I'd be like, mm, gotcha. Got it. Gotcha. No, I, I'm sure I would have been like, okay, I want to tell you how, uh, what sex is and how, uh, how women get pregnant and, yeah. and, uh, and, you know, Okay. Yeah, just yeah, be more. Make sure you understand. Be more clinical. Would, I love. How it. would you say it? Um, I'd be like, listen, Sebastian, sit down. I have lots of things to tell you. Um, I know you're feeling a lot of feelings now. Um, it's called horniness, mm -hmm. and all those excited feelings you have towards whoever you're having them towards, that's horniness. And do you know how your downstairs region? The kind of thing it looks like at an al dente piece of pasta. Hopefully it's bigger than that, but maybe it's not. I don't know. I haven't seen it in a while. <laughs> when it gets hard and you're excited, that is your body telling you that you want to have what we call fucking. Scientific? What we call fornication. Gotcha. Yeah. Just make sure the same. And women have these things, little slits. God's finger went whoosh, and opened them up. And in there pleasure town and you put your al dente piece of pasta or hopefully rocked up pasta this is a town yeah oh, on the gps oh yeah you just type in fucking on the google maps not right now sebastian <laughs> oh god um, oh look at that it says alternate routes ah! <laughs> um i honestly i don't know i, I don't you know you have to i because i think if you did use weird examples it could be like what do you what do you, how, yeah. what do you i think honestly in full transparency i think how i started it'll be around there but to kind of explain it. to kind of explain the feeling of it and then kind of start from there but i don't know dude yeah. i mean i gave the sex talk to greta she didn't really i don't think she kind of what yeah <laughs> what the hell huh <laughs> bow uh, wow wow yippee -yo, yippee -yay. Yippee -yay. Uh, here's one maybe you say son Someday you're going to move beyond socks. Hold on. And up. here's what that's going to look like. And here's what. And then might you show them a photo of Mia that. Khalifa. Yeah. A um, couple well, more questions yeah, and then we'll, uh, yeah, then, we'll, then we'll get into some audience stuff. Um, so here's a, let, you know, a couple. Uh, why is Trevor such a bad athlete? <laughs> well, look at his father. <laughs> The self-deprecation, I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I love it. It was like, well, it's not my trace. You ever th seen me throw frisbee? Hey, I did. I was a good frisbee player. <laughs> well, that's I, not I had to my, say out loud. I had my, I had my sports. Uh, we played sports? a lot of frisbee in college. 
did did good with that. Yeah, that's a lot you of, smoked uh, a lot of weed. A lot of we did Caucasian lot of, uh, activities. We, we played a lot of frisbee. Yeah, yeah. We um, I played tennis uh, all the time when he I was plays at, tennis. Uh, when do I you was still play? Oh no, oh. totally loved it. But okay. played a lot of tennis and, and tennis. did did okay with that. Golf, um, always been a golf. golfer. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I took up golf late in life. Okay. Yeah, but but I've played my whole life because of you. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's that's a sport we bonded over. But otherwise, yeah, that's why. I love does that, that answer your question? It does, hundred percent. Uh, and, and, and he had other interests. Uh, Pamela Anderson. So, yeah. uh, why has Trevor only watched like three movies? Is it your mm. fault, or is he just has no attention span? Uh, and how many books has he read? Seven. Just that paintball magazine. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Trevor's not a movie guy. I never really watched movies growing up. I watched Black Hawk Down and Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> well, you watched some of the comedy movies. Right. You love some of those uh, super bad. And, oh, those are great. Um, but that's all I cared about growing up was comedy movies. And I remember you guys had a Robin Williams comedy special and you're like, do not watch this when I was a child. Like, this is not for you. This is inappropriate. And I remember being like, cool, cool, cool. You guys are going to bed? Boom. We watching wa it. We watched that recently. Is that oh, the one really? with funny? Is that the oh, one with all so the good. water bottles? Yes. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my and God. And yeah, like the, the mouthpiece. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's just sweating his ass off through this whole yeah, show. His, yeah. his arms are crazy. Unbel oh, yeah. Hairy yeah. up. He's a hairy dude. If you take pictures of his arms, they're just blurry. Yeah. That's a Bigfoot joke. Anyway, um, um, <laughs> why does he not read more? I, You know, I think his mind's just going too fast. Stupid. Too, yeah. Uh, My brain too, starts to wander if I just, yeah. if I don't do anything. Like, I got to be stimulated. And I'm not a reader. I like, I, I, re I like reading uh, nonfiction. I like reading yeah. accounts of people. I like reading articles, news, biographies. What book but, are you reading now? Um, I just picked up a book that uh, Trevor's sister gave to uh, my wife um, called Into Thin Air. It's about this climber. Yeah. Yeah. It took place in, uh, he wrote it in 1997, but an epi epic book about mm -hmm. this really bad season on Mount Everest and the tragedies that happened. So I like reading stuff like that. Okay. And then uh, I like reading about musicians, biographies and oh, autobiographies. Big music guy. About oh, music. right, 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 right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big music guy. A lot of, um, so you you were you were uh, a young lad during kind of the whole uh, sexual revolution, drugs, love. 80s? Peace, love. Peace, love. So I'm, I'm alluding to like the 60s, 70s. or early, late 60s. I was late, born late in the mid 50s. Yeah, Went Hold to up. high school in the uh, early 70s, college in the mid to late 70s. Oh, so that was like big. Oh. Prime time. So Prime you time. you went through the 80s doing... Well, reckless. What eighties? I was into my career and getting married. So, but seventies was was where it got a little wild. It was fun. Yeah. Was good time. Did, What's your favorite what? drug? I'm not answering that. Coffee. I love it. Look at me. Wait, 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 wait! But you're retired. Who's who's gonna give? Who's gonna fire you? Have you done what drugs? Yeah. yeah. Nah. I mean, this guy did cocaine off his limousine. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? This guy's a party animal. But you know, you, know, you can't love the Grateful you know, Dead that much and not do a little bit of hallucinogenic. You know, everyone always talks about uh, snorting coke off a hooker's ass and stuff. You know those back oh. dimples? Yes. You know back dimples. Yes, yes, I do, sir. I call them thumbprints, you know. What? <laughs> Fucking God. How do I unlock this iPhone? That's the spot right there. there but have you done drugs off of it? Um. Long, oh, uh, and, that answers that. I think that. that answers that. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> right? You ever, you ever just put two acid tabs right on the goddamn dimples and put them up your ass and then go I, to a Grateful Dead concert? I survived the 70s. Barely. So, yeah. Yeah. Barely. So I was good. What are we, let's I go. love it. That's the best. Last question before we, get into, before we get into these questions. What's your favorite porn? Type of porn? Type of porn? Yeah. Life. Well, I have to tell you, I it's been years. I'm not a porn guy today. Um, get him out. Yeah, <laughs> get him out. I, I will tell you yes. something funny about uh, early porn. Yes, too much So hair. I grew up in this small town in Ohio, very small town. And Defiance. There, Defiance, Ohio. They had I one remember. computer with Wi-Fi on it. And there's e we didn't have Wi-Fi. <laughs> no, this is and recent. to see porn, you had to go to a porn theater. You know, Hell yeah. Who books no, that? There was no internet. There were no, you know. I said, who books that? <laughs> well, you had to drive to some place that had a porn It's crazy to be so horned up to get in a car. Oh, and we did. To go drive. So there was a you little. Gotta get gas. There was a little town 
not far from Defiance called Montpelier, Ohio. You can look it up. Sounds Montpelier, illegal. It's still cross, there? Crossroads, little tiny. And every town had a theater, right? Yeah. And some would repurpose their theaters. Well, this little town, Montpelier, Ohio, had a porn theater. That's all they did. Still there? I don't know if the porn theater is. I'm going to Cleveland that's for tour dates going that's, up. That's good, <laughs> I'm right? swinging by. But we would, you know, a bunch of us would get in the car, get all... Just a bunch of dudes in a car? Get all fucked up, drive over. Oh, yes! my God. Hold on, get all fucked up, just dr drinking? Whatever we were doing. I we love would, it, dude. We would drive over to, uh, and we called it Mont Peculiar. Oh, hold so on. So we would drive over to Mont Peculiar Damn and bad. go to the porn theater. And we'd go in, you know, our squad, and we'd be sitting there in a row. And in a row, like, in a row? Well, yeah, because we were, we were riffing and but, cracking jokes. Hold on, and, hold on, hold on. But when, when, but the, Peter, when the Peters in. come out, we don't, do we, do we separate? Or no, are like, whoa, we, Bob, you got a big You cut. guys weren't rubbing them out? You're no, just watching? we just went for, oh, dude. It was like a virtual strip club. Strip club in the metaverse. That's it, good. It was kind of like that, yeah. We'd all leave with blue balls, but we would... We I feel that watching HBO softcore over at like you know my neighbor's house growing up. We watch softcore and be like, yeah, interesting. And then we'd all just be tense for ten minutes. I, I always thought that was such a funny thing to when you're because I used to watch the Spice Channel with all my friends. Literally like like eight or nine of that us. We're all just like rocked up watching this, acting like we're not rocked the up. Girls gone wild with commercials. We just pretended like we yeah. weren't all just deep on down. Comedy Central. You're watching like a Comedy Central half hour Mike Bigler, and they go, hey, what about tits? You go, what? leave me alone. No. Don't leave me alone. Put it on again. <laughs> TiVo, rewind, play it again. Dude, what? I remember just being glued to it, just like our. Yeah. Because it was something about the LEDs on that screen be brighter. The yeah. whole room would light up when that would come on. Later night, you'd have a Scooby Doo blanket over you. Just like, oh, God. Oh, yeah. And that's not the only mystery he's solving. Well, we would go to the theater, Mont Peculiar, Ohio, and the four of us, we, we were out of control. We were, what the hell? We were screaming and everything. But. There were dudes in there. Oh, you're like, they, looked like, get a they looked like old guys to us. They were probably in their 30s or 40s or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But sad. Just kind of, yeah, sad. Just a few <laughs> dudes around the theater by themselves. And you know what they were doing. But what we, were you doing? But we were there. We'd be screaming. And, and at the time, Johnny Holmes was the big star. John Holmes. John Holmes. That okay. yeah, sounds look like him up. Good. Johnny the Wad was his nickname. Johnny the Wad? Yes. Can we bring him up? Johnny Holmes. He was the star. So we'd go and he'd be on screen or it'd be his flick. And, you know, he wasn't out yet, you know, so they're working into it. And we, the four of us, we'd be sitting there. We want the wad. We want the wad. <laughs> and we're screaming Damn. on him. Is that him? There he is. Wow. John Holmes. All right. We, I don't out. want to see his it's face. looking dude. That guy looks like he could be in an A24 film. There he is. Oh, man. They, we have to the cover wad. up the Johnny the wad. And would other people in the theater be like, we're trying to jerk off. Stop. No, Take this were, serious. They were probably glad we were making noise, you know, so they could yeah, do, so do they something so else. Hear that, you no, had a story yeah, one time. On. You never finished telling me, hold up, sexual. But you, you, did you punch a guy in the stomach or a guy punched you in the stomach because you were drunk and you wanted to puke? You know what I'm talking about? You told me this story when I was young. I think you were drunk. Oh. You were drunk and you, um, didn't want, and you wanted to get the alcohol out of you so you had a guy punch you in the mm, stomach to puke? Well, <laughs> no. It was a defiant story. We were out Ohio. drinking. Yep. Yeah. Drinking, there was this bar. Was there ever we a story in Ohio where you weren't out drinking? Not many. We it's Ohio. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So yeah. Well, also they could drink at what eighteen? Yeah, but it, it was at three two beer. Th three two percent alcohol. Three point two percent alcohol at eighteen. At twenty one, you could get the hard stuff. So at eighteen, you could drink, but it was you know three percent alcohol. So you had to drink twice as much yeah, to yeah, yeah, feel yeah. it. But we would go out in the summer and we would go to this one bar. It's called the Barrel. Everyone in my high school went there. And we would drink all night, and I didn't ask for it. I was just sick, my, you know. I, From drinking too much. Yeah, right? at the bar, and my buddy takes me out back, and with no warning, he just punches me in the gut, <laughs> and and I throw up. And he says, "You're welcome." He says, "You're gonna feel better now." That and, is the worst Ohio bro logic I've ever heard. And it also, worked. good kind of checks though. out. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And we yeah. ended up going to college together. We were roommates, so it, you know he had my back. Or Nickname the plunger. Stomach, I did, yeah. Like yeah. It. I just remember that. That's hilarious. <laughs> dude, that is so funny. Well, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's great. So we did ask our audience if there's any questions they want to get off real quick, then we'll speed through that, and then, you know, we'll get you home, you know? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. much it. And then if there's questions for you, then yeah, you, you have any, for us. Yeah, if you have any okay, questions for us, we'll, okay. we got you. Fire yeah, on. All right, so this one's a little by the bit way, of a... By the way, let me interject. 
I think Trevor and Michael and Stiff Socks has the best audience there is. Oh, they're great. His oh. fans, Trevor's fans at the shows, I, oh my God, they're, they're so unbelievable. They're I great. love them. So I want to hear what, they, what they're curious about. Yeah, yeah. sure. Uh, we got a little bit of a palate cleanser here. This is from Mondo who says, uh, how are your tomatoes doing? What other veggies or fruits do you grow? Oh, then about the garden. That's wholesome. But I went back and the garden's looking a little scarce. Oh no! What's well, going on? It's transition time. We're moving from summer crops to a uh, uh, winter crop. That's a genuine answer. All yeah, right. yeah. But uh, <laughs> what a sweet question. Yeah, I like my garden. The, Trevor's always wondering when I'm going to start planting some weed out there. You d- saying what? That's what I'm saying. When? Oh, I money profit. No, it's legal. Sell it. At I least know, CBD. We're, we're growing tomatoes, squash. Um, this year we had a banner crop of uh, peppers, jalapenos. Are, are you uh, are peppers. you dabbling in the the weed these days? What are we talking? We're not growing anything back. No, there. no, no you, you don't have to grow you, it. You uh, personally? Are you like? Are you like? Hey, yeah, I'll take I'll take a toke or two. It's legal now. Yeah. yeah so, so it's yeah. very legal. That removes some of the you know hesitancy. So yeah. So yeah. Okay. Cool. Great. I didn't answer. What's the next question? <laughs> yeah. Next uh, question. Yeah, we got a question from. Uh, Z Z Jada and they say have you ever heard something about Trevor uh, something that he said either on the podcast or on stage that shocked you about learning about him oh well, yeah lots probably. of stuff and this is where his mother um, won't watch stiff socks or cringes Pear. cringes at times cringes uh, of some of the things uh, we've heard assuming they're true about Trevor's younger years uh oh well, I think it was more so just like a story about when I, when I be in like high school and like, you know, got a concussion on a longboard from drinking too much at fourteen, and you guys thought I was just like at a wholesome sleepover. Yeah, like I think it's more so like I don't know you're doing. We're getting that. high or something at a younger age than we thought, be or 13. than she thought. When did yeah. you think Trevor was getting high? Did it Trevor ever, ever come home super high and it was so obvious? But he was like, no allergies. You know what? I, I thought I would be able to spot this. <laughs> Monkey and I, see, monkey do. And Good. I yeah. and I don't think I did. But I also wanted to believe that, you know, I he was behaving. Right. But do you remember the time I found something under your mattress? Yeah, and I said I found it. I yes. said I found it. And, did you? And, and, no. See, I knew it. Yeah, I knew but, it. But I mean, he said I, I found it is the number one thing where you for sure well, didn't it find it. It was an empty weed canister. or it was an empty little like thing. And then it was eye drops next to it. And I was like, oh, I found it in the riverbed behind the house because I wanted, I was so curious. I didn't know what to do with it. I held on to it. And I'm like, that's right. lame. That's lame. Well, also, Why would it wasn't dirty. It was clean. Yeah, exactly. I, I think I came home one time because in senior year, I got off at Newham. I think I came home one time and you were a little off the blitz. I think you were off a little bit of the... Because I walk in, you go, Trevor, how was school? Then I went to the garage, got a water, walked back in, you go, Trevor, you're home. How was school? <laughs> and I was like, Dad, you are not old enough to be having these dementia thoughts. You are off the cush. Maybe I just didn't like the first answer. I didn't answer the first time. Okay. <laughs> no. Anyway, but- I never, I never uh, found stash or anything, but it, when I found those two items under the bed, and I showed your mom. Of course. I said, look yeah. at this. I found this in Trevor. got better shit than me, yeah. And... Um, and I think we we're both just in denial and didn't want to think that our innocent young boy was dabbling at that age. Because I certainly wasn't at that age. I was young. Yeah. I, well, eighth grade, ninth grade, Trevor, I was like, I didn't know what I wanted in life. I was confused. And I just, I, I don't know why I looked for just to, I just wanted that lifestyle. But then as, you know, junior, senior year of high school came around, that's when I found comedy. That's when I found what I wanted to do. And comedy was your drug. But see, one of my... Deep. One of my friends, whose son was a buddy of Trevor's, uh, I, I commented once to him, you know, we're talking about the, the, our boys. And I'm like, I don't know if Trevor's smoking pot or not. The and, and the other dad says, well, my understanding is he's more into drinking than smoking. Okay. So I don't know if that's true or not. Now, we did find booze. All right. Did not yeah. find any illicit drugs, but we found booze. Am I misremembering yeah. this? Did you mark your booze? Am I misremembering this? I did. You, you did. Yes. Yes, I drew little lines on the bottles. Hater. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hater. Oh yeah. You just well, see little was, sharpie ticks. I on was. It. Co- I was convinced that the booze was going down. I mean, I knew when I was hitting it, and I was convinced it was going down faster than I was drinking. So you marked, it and he just filled it with water. I don't know. It was never watered down. I think it was a deterrent. Cut to that in the clip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but th- you wouldn't know it's water unless you froze your alcohol. Well, I don't know. It didn't taste water now. 
Bingo. This is great. See, parents are dumb. <laughs> well, no, it's well, just you have so much. Like, think about how busy you are yeah. now, and you're just you're 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 managing a job, a house, a family. You got kids, dogs. Everything's running around. So if you run around, you're like, I don't know if this whiskey tastes watered down or not. It's like you don't. Really, there's so much going on. You don't care. It's also mixed in with shit. Also, even if you knew, and I'm just talking from no experience, but even if you knew, like, do I even want to have this conversation? I have a mortgage. Uh, Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just too much. It's like, to your point, it's like, there's too much stuff happening. Do I really want to have a conversation? As long as they're, in, they're with the right people and it's not too, too sketchy of people yeah. and what they're doing. Because I always hung out with people, the people that I hung out with are the people I grew up on the street with or their, like, best friend's kids. Right. So I always was, like, in range of, it's never like I would just, like, leave and just be, like, with weird people. Like, they knew who I was hanging out with. So right. they always kind of had, like, an ear to the street type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. And, um, and put it like this. Trevor never went to uh, a porn theater with his friends. Uh, so yeah. I think Trevor Until won. tonight. Let's go. Let's go. The theater well, so, we did in Portland was So back to that very yeah. good question. Uh, that, and then maybe the other thing we learned, which uh, I, of course, suspected, but was just the stories about how drunk these guys would get, like yeah. the, the fraternity. Yeah. And Oh, yeah. And that wasn't necessarily a surprise, but... We do some hear of those, it. and it'd be like, "Oh my God, I'm so grateful he's alive." Yeah. But we, we witnessed it. We we went to the frat house on a Sunday yeah. morning, and oh, I was praying nobody was home. Oh God, I was praying. I was like, oh, "They're like, yeah, we want to see the frat." I was like, "Sure." Oh God, you just hope nobody's just taking bong rips off a of girl's dimples in oh, the head. Yeah. <laughs> you know? You're just <laughs> praying that everybody's on their Sunday behavior. Nobody Somebody's was, studying. Nobody was even alive. We went over one Sunday yeah. morning, and it was like. It was dead silent, but the remains from the night before oh, were just yeah. unbelievable. Oh yeah, yeah. What a what a nightmare. Yeah. So, but you know what? All of this ins and outs of getting into trouble, you know, learning from you, learning character. from your mom, it builds character. And now he's here, and exactly. you got you got to be proud. And as a as a parent, you also you know you can't be hypocritical. It's like, mm, you right. know, I've been there. Yeah, I can't get too. You got a Critical. right hook into the gut. All right, more questions. Yeah, there it is. I, I mean, you guys have have already covered a lot of what people want to know, which has been great. So let's just do one more of these before yeah. we get out of here. This is a question from uh, Evan, and he says, "What is your what's your favorite video or character uh, that Trevor's done?" Great mm. question. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, well, I've got some reminders right here yeah. on my shirt. I always love, I love when you get in the videos. I think that's always fun. Um, yeah, yeah. Let me think about that. I love, I love the Kyle video. That oh, was good. Yeah. Um, the fuck boys are pretty good. Oh, just <laughs> dropped one today. Just I dropped the new sketch, baby. There's a new fuck boys out. Um, I and I knew Trevor was going to be a fuck boy pretty early on. So. <laughs> Let me get that sound bite for my I, own good. I did. Ladies, you I hear did. that? Why? Please tell me why. Because he was unathletic, got sunburned easy. <laughs> Um, well, okay, I'll tell you the story. They yes. told me uh, Trevor was going to be a fuckboy early on. Love it. So, Sound clip. Use it. Some Intro. of my favorite memories from uh, when Trevor was young, father, son, is we were members of Indian Guides. Y'all know what Indian Guides? Uh -uh. So as a father, son, oh, group, yeah. it's no longer called Indian Guides because it's not politically correct. They call it Adventure Guides or something now. Oh, Adventure Guides I've heard of. Yeah, but it's yeah. fathers and their kids and it was a, it was kind of like Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts sort of things, but uh, uh, you'd have a tribe. And so like in Camarillo, yeah, there were <laughs> numerous tribes. <laughs> not no. do this anymore. Yeah, no. numerous tribes, and you'd get together each week, and the dads would oh, basically drink, and the kids would do yeah, stuff. Yeah, there's an excuse for dads to just throw back some Jaeger. Anything is an out. excuse to get away from the wife. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, it's kind of like that. In fact, <laughs> <laughs> well, not that it was the, the excuse, but... Anyway, it was dads and their sons. <laughs> but anyway, and there's a there's a get ton women of, out of here, huh? We, we don't have enough time for all the funny stories at, from Indian guides. Um, Keep but, saying it. But Venture, um, guides. Really Venture, guides. Into it. Venture guides. One of our field trips is we go to uh, Buena Ventura State Beach campground, and all the Indian guides were were on this part of the the campground. We've got our tents and we're camping and doing our thing, and all the little boys are running around. And on the other side of this circle is the female version of this, dads and their daughters, which was called, I think, Indian, Illegal. Indian maidens <laughs> or Indian princesses. And and they were over there. So the boys and the girls were 
you know, chasing each other around and joking around and they're carrying on and playing and the dads are drinking. And Common at, theme. And at one point, <laughs> the uh, we see the boys all head over to the girls area yeah. and um, all of a sudden they come running back. Just running back. Us or the girls? The boys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come running back. I think I remember this. Yeah, why why are they running back? They came already. And pretty soon, a dad comes walking over. Oh, no. One of the girls' dads from the other side. And the dad's like, so, uh, guys, so he's talking to us. We're all sitting there, (laughs) booze everywhere. Uh, Guys, uh, one of your boys um, said or did something inappropriate to the girls. (laughs) And all the boys look at Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? Exactly. So um, so he says, you know, you got to talk to your, your boys. So we talked to him. We don't know what happened. Do you know? Do you remember? No. So we said, all right, guys, you got to, you got to, you know, cool it. I don't know what you did. Behave. I think we we're making fun of whatever they're, I don't know. I don't know. Something inappropriate. But the funny thing in this story and, and the sweet part of this story is... <laughs> The, uh, so the boys are starting to play again and we go back to what we do best. And all of a sudden we see the boys working on some stuff over on the picnic table and they're putting together this tray of food. And one of the boys says, you can always win the girls back with food. So let's take some food over to them. And they put together this food plate and they march over single file line to the girls camp. And, and we're watching cracking up. And they come back, and uh, and they're giggling, blah blah blah. And pretty soon, the girls come back with an offering. Damn! So Hell yeah. That's how. So, that's all life, though. Like you know, know, like you always picked on the girl that you thought was cute growing up, yeah. and then did a little bit of that, a well, little bit of jabs the, here. The moral and there. of the story is the boys were learning. They did their thing. They made up. Birds and the bees. The girls came back. Everything was cool. And you know what's full circle? It happened in the woods. It did. Let's in the woods. Go. It did. In the woods. Yeah. Well. I mean, unless you have anything for us, Mr. Wallace, this has been a wonderful, hilarious episode, and we appreciate you so much for coming on. Well, thank you. It was fun. It I, was great. I, I mean, I, I never thought I'd see the day that I'd have my own father, one, support me, two, be on my podcast called Stiff Socks. Yeah, this well, is it is great. interesting. Who came up with the name we, Stiff Socks? We, well, I don't even know. We were just at a, we were in a, at a coffee shop in Culver City, yeah, and we were, we're just, just like pitching back names name, back and yeah. forth, back and forth, and I don't know who said it. This was like four or five years ago. And then it just stuck. It just felt yeah, like... the SS was just like... It just the, the felt like, I mean. oh, that's... It's pretty good. Now, did you guys both, each of you, start with Michael, use socks? Excuse me? Did, did you, you use socks? I've used socks uh, to wipe up. I've never I've never ejaculated into a sock. No? Mm-mm. Trevor? I've tried it. Average? You know. It was well, just not a lot of circumference. You're just lean. You know, there's yeah. other... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have you? Are you a big sock guy when you were younger or now? I'm not now. No. When you were a kid, you used to Probably. fill them up? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Ankle socks I mean, or I can't socks? be the only one. It's a thing. No, right? no, you oh, definitely it's, try it. It is it's definitely a thing. A thing. You try yeah. It. Yeah. yeah, it's a thing. And I'm I don't, more of a, I just like to spread my seed I, anyway. Well, I've heard the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm hesitant to be in this room. Oh, know? yeah, dude. That seat Velcro. I've. I've no heard. black lights around you, man. I know. <laughs> well, listen. Okay. Thanks, guys. It was Father, fun. thank you what so a, much. What a dream come true to, uh, to have yeah. you on. That was well, awesome. Uh, Give me it's, it's been a great ride, son, watching you do your thing. And uh, Stiff Socks, yet another adventure. You know, we'll see how long this goes. What do you mean by that? Whoa. I don't know. How long Are you going to burn the studio down how now? Long, how long can you talk about the same thing? We've been doing it for three and a half years. And I got much more. Cut this part. You know, you know, your mom, your mom is a, is a tough critic and she loves comedy, but, um, and she has her certain comics that she loves. She yeah. just loves yeah. like Jim Gaffigan. She likes guys clean, who are clever, yeah. clean, not us. And if it's, not totally clean. She still wants it to be clever. You know, she Got doesn't. It. So she gets tired of dick jokes. And I tell her, honey, dick jokes are going to be around forever. But, I mean, look, look at a dick. Yeah, You're going to be joking about that thing. Hopefully forever. not. Yeah. Hopefully you don't pull your pants down. So, She's like, LOL. I don't, know. I don't know. Well, well, hey, I trust that it will continue and we'll occasionally tune in and see what you boys are talking about. But I have a feeling I know. Um, 
So yeah, it'll be the look. same thing. Twenty forty seven. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, guess what? Got put in my ass last weekend. All right. Well, it's been fun to sit in the same seat that porn stars and comedians have. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, we've had some real illustrious and great women on the show and my father. Yeah. So the rankings are great. And I think next week is a porn star too. So who knows? Yes. Awesome. All right. Well, guys, that is the freaking episode. Thank you so much for watching and listening uh, to support the podcast. Keep going. Also, we have a friend to remind. We have a Patreon. Four extra episodes uh, drops every Friday, ad free for only five dollars a month. That is go on patreon.com backslash stiff socks pod. Uh, if you want to support the show, definitely jump on that. Also, we have Stiff Socks Plus, which is on Apple. Uh, it's same bonus episodes, but audio only. Um, and uh, that is it. Go uh, rate, subscribe, and review. It really helps us out. And that's the episode, guys. We love you. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, bye.